are loose. Like this? That's it. She's all go. Oh, we're going to give you two some real competition tonight in that dance contest. Ted, I'm not going to enter the contest. Why not? I'm not good enough. Of course you are. I'm sure you'll win. I should. It's my house. I'm counting on you tonight, Kathy. Well, gotta go. Come on, Ted. See you tonight. And don't get too tired. Practice sitting out a few. Uh, that's more fun. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'll see you tonight, Kathy. Goodbye, Ted. Imagine you not knowing the hammer. If my father were a foreign correspondent and I traveled all over the world with him, I'd know every dance there was. Father and I went to the ballet quite often. I'll bet. I've never been in a dance contest before. I'm a bit nervous. It's just a bunch of kids coming over for some laughs. It's nothing to be nervous about. I wish I had your confidence. You're not afraid of anything. That's because there's nothing to be afraid of. It's all in your mind. Mom, can I tell her the bad news? Please? I'll do it. I just spoke to the doctor. I made a four o'clock appointment for you today. For what? For your flu shot. Boy, do they use a long needle. <laughs> <laughs> flu shot? Today? Today. You've been putting it off every week for a month. Now, you're not stalling any longer. Mom, I, I can't go today. I don't feel well. Oh, what's wrong this time? Same as last time. She's a coward. I'm not. <laughs> I have this terrible headache. Last week you had a stomach ache. The week before that you had a back ache. Before that it was a stiff neck. That's what I mean. I'm a pretty sick kid. You're as healthy as a horse. I may be a healthy horse, but I'm a sick kid. <laughs> Besides, I hate flu shots. They hurt like the dickens. Don't they, Kathy? No. Who asked you? <laughs> Mom, I can't get a shot today. I'm giving a party here tonight. No shot, no party. You better get started. You know, that needle must be a foot long. Out! I wish I could watch. Shot. Shots don't hurt. Maybe they don't hurt you, but... Shots don't hurt you? Of course not. Kathy, I've got a great idea. I don't like it. You haven't heard it yet. All I want you to do is go to the doctor and get the shot in my place. <laughs> you mean, because we look alike, the doctor won't know the difference and he'll give me the shot thinking I'm you? Yeah, it's a wonderful idea. And it'll work, too. Except for one little thing. What? I won't do it. <laughs> How can you turn down a blood relative? I've already had my flu shot. And besides, my taking your shot isn't going to immunize you. You should take the shot. It will keep you healthy. I don't want to be healthy. I'm a sick kid and I want to stay that way. Daddy? <laughs> She's coming on, Natalie. Come on. Oh, me. Don't be such a coward. You're not afraid of anything because there's nothing to be afraid of. That's what you said. I lied. Kathy, I want you to go to the doctor with Fatty and see that she gets her shot. All right, Aunt Natalie. Can I go too? I'll help hold her. <laughs> Why don't we do it tomorrow? My horoscope says it's a bad day for flu shots. Come on, Patty. A coward dies a thousand deaths. A brave man only once. I'm going to my execution. She quotes poetry. <laughs> Remember me! You know? I'll bet Patty talks Kathy into taking her shot for her. Dr. Williams, please. This is Natalie Lane. 
Hello, Doctor. No, she's on her way. I just called to warn you. This time, she may try to pretend she's her cousin. Good. Oh, and Doctor, be gentle with her. Patty's a very sensitive child. He's not here. Let's go. No. I'll tell the doctor you're here. I'll be right back. You stay here. I'm too sick to see a doctor. You heard what your mother said. No shot, no party. Sit down. Pardon me. Oh, hello, Patty. You're right on time. I I'm not Patty. Oh, then you must be her cousin. That's right. I'm Kathy. I thought so. Uh, I'll bring Patty in now. No, that won't be necessary. Your mother called and warned me about you two. That was my aunt who called. Your mother became your aunt? When did she do that? When she married my father's brother. <laughs> I mean, uh, father and Uncle Martin look alike. And so do Patty and I. Uh, people mistake us. Uh... <gasps> what did you do? It's all over, Patty. Now you won't have to worry about getting the flu. Hello? I wasn't worried. I've already had my flu shot. Uh, it's the hospital doctor. They're ready for you. I'll be right there. But, doctor... Patty, you're a very brave girl. We're all proud of you. How do you feel? Fair. Are you going to tell your mother what happened? Of course I will. Sometime in the future. Are you going to get your shot? Of course I will. Sometime in the future. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll go tomorrow, I promise. Only, uh, in the meantime, let's not say anything to Mom. She's kind of, well, you know how old people are. <laughs> I didn't hear you come in. Did you go to the doctor? Yes, ma'am. Did you get your flu shot? Yes, ma'am. How do you feel? Great. You see, I'll bet it didn't even hurt. I can honestly say I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> Here, try this. Heat's great for swelling. Here's your dress, dear. I ironed it and said, why haven't you two started to get ready yet? Your guests will be arriving soon. Kathy, what's the matter with your arm? Nothing, Aunt Natalie. Well, then why have you got a hot one? Mom, I have a confession to make. I didn't get that shot. Kathy did. What? It, it was an accident. I went in to tell the doctor that Patty was there. And he thought I was Patty. And before I knew it, ouch. Oh, you poor baby. I'm fine, really. No, you stay in bed. But I have to get dressed for the party. I'm afraid there's not going to be any party for you tonight. I'm going to go call Dr. Williams. Patty. I know how you feel, Kath. I'll tell you what. If you can't come down to the party, I won't either. Would you? Well, uh, sure. Uh, of course. If that's what you want me to do. Do you? No. You talk me out of it. <laughs> For your sake, I'll go down, but I won't have a good time. You'd better call Ted and tell him. He was looking forward to the dance contest. Why don't we wait? Maybe the doctor will say it's all right. I just spoke to the doctor. He says you're having a mild reaction to the shot. It happens occasionally. It's nothing to worry about. You stay in bed tonight, and you'll be fine in the morning. I'm sure I'll be all right. You stay in bed, young lady. Oh, I know it's a disappointment, but there'll be other parties. I'll get you an ice pack. The doctor said to apply cold to the arm. So I'm not Ben Casey. I can't stand Ted up at the last minute. He'll never date me again. Never. I wish I could change places with you so that you could go to the party and I could... I can keep your date with Ted. What? He'll think it's you. You couldn't. Of course I could. You took my shot for me. The least I can do is date your boyfriend for you. <laughs> it's better than having him bring another girl. This way, we'll keep him in the family. What about your date with Richard? I'll keep that, too. You can't be both of us. When the boys come, there have to be two of us. You've got a point. 
Let me think. There are two boys coming over for two girls. And there's only one of you. Is there? Good evening, Ted, old chap. You're looking simply divine this evening. I don't talk like that. That's what you think. Oh, there you are, Ted, darling. I don't call him darling. You will tonight. How can you fool both of them? Leave it to me. Patty, promise me one thing. What? You can kiss your date, but not mine. Promise? Promise. Gee, I hope I don't get confused. <laughs> Lovely, darling. You look like your mother did when she was your age. It brings back memories. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. You remember the first dance I ever took you to? Yes, it was at Jean Ann Dockstetter's house. That's right. You wore a new blue pinstripe suit. That's right. And you danced every dance with Jean Ann Dockstetter. That's wrong. I know, but you did it anyway. They were shaking the shimmy, and she had more to shake than I did. That's right. <laughs> you two aren't going to start reminiscing now, are you? I thought you liked to hear about the Stone Age. I do. Only my guests will be arriving any second. All right, darling, the Flintstones are leaving. Ross is sleeping out tonight, and Mrs. Crown is coming in to supervise the party. Please don't give her a hard time. We won't. Have fun. We will. Come on, Ma. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> jumpy about me jumpy i guess it's just the tension of being a hostess well, where's kathy who your cousin kathy oh my cousin kathy what's the matter with you nothing she's in the kitchen helping margaret with the with the sandwich is everyone here pat now they are excuse me a minute. Oh, good evening, Mrs. Crow. I thought you'd never get here. Well, I had to run an errand for my parents. We oh. haven't seen you all evening, Kathy. I understand you've been helping in the kitchen. Yes, ma'am. Um, would you excuse me? Would you care to dance? Sure. She's a lovely girl. Yeah. I wonder where Patty is. Hey, Pete, Pete, have you seen Patty? Nope. I'll give you Henrietta. I wonder where she went. She's just here. There's a bunch in the den. Maybe she's there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Kathy? Kathy? Oh, yes, Ted. I'm really looking forward to the dance contest. Are you? Well, aren't you? Oh, certainly. Only, um, Patty and Richard are so good, I don't think we stand a chance. Oh, don't sell yourself short. You're much more graceful than Patty. I'm, uh, Patty is a natural born dancer. Well, she could use some of your modesty. <laughs> Ow! Ow! I'm so sorry. That's all right. What's the matter? Um, I'm suddenly terribly thirsty. Would you mind getting me a drink? Well, all right. I'll be right back. <laughs> Just a little 
please. Well, if you say so. Is this fast enough? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Patty, have you seen Kathy? Um, oh, hi there, Teddo. Uh, I think she's in the hall. Thanks. She's thirsty. <laughs> what are you stopping for? Um, excuse me, Richard. I have to powder my nose. In the middle of a dance? I can't wait. It's very shiny. You've been in Scotland, haven't you? Me? Uh, sure, lots of times. Did you see the Moors there? Oh, the Moors? Yes. What are they like? I love them, especially Mr. Moore. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, Ted. I've been looking all over for you. I've been looking for you. Here's your drink. Oh, thank you. Would you mind getting me another one? Well, you can have mine. Oh, thanks. <laughs> My, that was good. Can I, uh, I mean, uh, may I have another one? Well, can't we sort of be together for a little while? I think it might be a good idea if we mingled. You go that way, and I'll go this way, and we'll meet... Well, let's both go this way, then. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to tell you how pretty you look tonight. Thank you. Well, you're the prettiest girl at the party. Oh, I think Patty's prettier. Are you kidding? She doesn't hold a candle to you. Who says so? Besides, you have a better personality. What do you mean? Well, what do you mean by that? Well, Patty's a nut. I mean, she's always doing crazy things. She is not. As far as I'm concerned, Patty's the smartest, prettiest, and most intelligent girl I know. Well, that's just because you're loyal to her. You bet. <laughs> you bet I am. Oh, she's a clod. <laughs> well, anyway, I don't want to talk about Patty. Let's talk about us. Uh, let's not get... <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me. Uh... Richard, I wasn't kissing him. He was kissing me. Well, you don't have to explain to me, Kathy. You're not my girl. Patty is. Do me a favor, will you? And get Patty out of the powder room. I heard her shiny noses, but this is ridiculous. I want to dance. Yes, Richard. Certainly, Richard. Excuse me. Well, wait a minute. I want to dance, too. Uh, all right. I promise you the next dance. I'll be right back. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, Kathy, I'm afraid you misunderstood my question about the Moors. What I wanted to know was, do the Moors have pee? Yes, they have pee. They have Pete and Sandy and Angus. They're a big family. <laughs> It's about time. I might as well have stayed home. I'm sorry. I got to talking to some of the girls. And boys and girls. We're now going to have the dance contest. <laughs> Prizes will be awarded to the boy and girl who, in the opinion of the judge, me, gives the best interpretation of the hammer. <laughs> Who can beat us? Come on!
Martha, you're sure hard to keep track of. Good. I mean, I wouldn't want to be underfoot all the time. Well, let's go. What are you doing? Well, we almost missed the dance contest. Uh, I can't enter the contest with you. You just did. Don't worry, we're going to win. <laughs> She's my date. I guess I ought to know my girlfriend. Tell them who you are. I'm Patsy. <laughs> I mean, I'm Caddy. Stop clowning around. Come on, I want to talk to you. Let go of my date. She's my date. She's mine. Wait a minute, Philip. Wait a minute. I can explain. It's all very simple. Well, not really simple. You see, I went to get a flu shot, and Kathy got it instead, and she got sick, and... I'm not feeling too good myself. No, wait a minute, And then both boys started dragging me off. It must have been a terrible experience. Well, it was. And when we got outside, they started swinging at each other. I had to break it up. Finally, I explained, but... I'll get it. Hello. Hello, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hey, Patty told me you were sick last night. How do you feel now? Oh, I'm much better, thank you. Where's Patty? She's inside. Hi, Patty. Hi, Richard. Hello, Ted. I'm sorry about last night. We're the ones that are sorry. Yeah, we didn't mean to start a fight and... That's all right. At least it served one purpose. Now you can tell us apart. I'm the natural born dancer. With a shiner. <laughs> Here's Kathy, who's lived most everywhere, from Zanzibar to Barclay Square. But Patty's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair! But they're cousins, identical cousins, and you'll find. They laugh alike, they walk alike, at times they even talk alike. You can lose your mind when cousins are two of a kind. 